There, there are just fantastic photographs, and, and these are both uh, images of botanical specimens, of large nature scenes, um, lots and lots of animal pictures. I see several thousand images in succession um, over the course of doing the work that I do, and it will be a series of a hundred photographs of blackbirds. But then photograph 101 will be a hand holding two metal larks. The project is originally designed to digitize the records for the Minnesota Natural History and Geological Survey uh, that was began in 1872. It also includes materials from uh, the Department of Botany, uh, the zo zoology, uh, and uh, what was the Minnesota Natural History Museum, which uh, today we know, now know as the Bell Museum of Natural History. We have about over 2,000 um, print photographs from 1899 to um, 1903 that were taken um, by a commercial photographer that the Department of Botany hired. We also have over 150,000 um, archival materials and a 6,000 um, uh, image negative collection from the Bell Museum of Natural History. So in the month of January 2014, uh, the scanners completed uh, approximately 28,000 individual scans, uh, and that brings our project uh, total to date to uh, 138,371 uh, scans. And some of the, the materials that, that uh, are part of the collections include things like uh, field notebooks uh, and observational journals that, uh, that uh, amateur naturalists kept uh, and recorded their daily walks um, and sightings and birds uh, that they came across every day. A lot of these materials are in very delicate condition due to their age. So by scanning them, um, we can access them online and we no longer have to handle them. These materials also present uh, information that uh, really hasn't been seen by anybody for 50 70, 80, 100 years. These collections are part of the university archives and, and were mandated by the regents to both care for the historically valuable materials of the university, but also to try to make them accessible. Along with that, the original uh, 1872 survey, the Act for the Survey, uh, mandated that uh, the materials and specimens collected for, uh, by the survey uh, should be made freely available to the people of the state of Minnesota. And so, in a way, uh, we feel that this, this digitization project uh, really is, is a continuation of the spirit of that original 1872 act.